Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Hey, don't mind the Bouge RV cooler. We're going to do a video on this. <laughs> yeah, working on that one. I've done a couple videos just recently using microcap and vacuum tubes. And, you know, you can apply this to any kind of circuits. I'm just trying to show how to use the tool and also what's available as far as libraries and stuff like that. So... In this video, what I want to show, you know, you may have seen uh, transistor comparisons where they do transistor curves and depending on the model of a certain transistor or certain vacuum tube or whatever, uh, there's different models people use and it could be different manufacturers or it could be that, um, you know, the model is built around showing a certain parameter and Sometimes, especially with vacuum tubes, they can be very different. So I want to show you uh, how you can use a circuit and copy it. And that way you can compare side by side different models of your favorite device, whether it be 6L6 or EL34. And you can look up the data sheets and fine tune these models to what you like. And also, if you've done testing in the lab, you can verify that the model meets that. And what's nice about that is you don't have to spend a lot of time in the lab building circuits. It's very quick and easy to use a simulation model. Maybe you want to try capacitors here, or resistor there, and see what the difference is. And maybe you want to see what the noise performance is of a resistor or a capacitor. You can put the models of those components in there and and do some noise analysis. So anyway, this is gonna be a quick, easy video, okay? Let's jump into it. Oh, hey, and by the way, uh, give a like to the video if you like it, really helps, and share it uh, with your friends or, you know, if you're on Facebook, whatever. Um, yeah, I find that sharing videos has helped a lot. I don't usually ask people to do that, but some people do and it's helped a lot. So uh, subscribing, there's another way. <laughs> all right guys let's jump in this video all right guys so this is the 6l6 circuit that i showed you in the last video this is just a way to look at the performance of just this tube and then you can you know try it against some other things so you know what let's just do just that let's i'm going to show you something let's copy this whole thing okay and then I'm going to say copy. And I'm using a Mac with Parallels program running this Windows program on Parallels. So the way I do that is I just hold both fingers down and it gives me that menu I can copy. So that's how that works. And I click it on the left button. And then I hold two fingers down. I say paste. And then I can move this guy around. And let's just put it right here. Look, I got two of them. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of this dude. Let's click on that. Let's click on that guy first. Hold two fingers down. Say cut. Okay. Then what I want to do is come into components. I'm going to go to find components. And let's just see if we can find it. Oh, look, I already typed the EL34 in. And... Okay, so this is something to be aware of. Look at all the models of EL34s. And the top one says high performance audio. So what the heck? Let's go with that one. Let's start with that one. So, and it looks like it's in the same configuration as that one, rotation wise. Okay, guys, we're going to place it right in here. Okay. So then I'm going to come up here and go back to the finger pointer thing. All right. So now we have, uh, you know, this is 6L6. What's the deal with this one? Click, double click on it. Let's say show EL34. That should be by default in my belief. But anyway, whatever. And you know what? I can make it look just like that other one over there. Put the X4 up here move the EO 34 up here okay so now they look the same now let's come up here and go AC analysis oh by the way I want to show you something 
So out one and over here on the left out. So and on the right V2 and over here it says VCC. So it renames things. Okay, it gives the next number. See, we had V1 here, so it said V2. And then, so it does that kind of thing, okay? Plate over here, plate one. Okay, let's go up here to analysis, and let's say AC analysis. Okay, so we're what we're going to do is we're going to plot V out down here. See that? V out. So what we want to do is come up, come up here, and hit add and then let's hit say v out one let's do the one we just put there and there it is it shows me on the list it exists so i double click it okay good and all this other stuff is fine so let's just say run and look at that now i don't know why i i notice it does this i don't know what oh you know what I, I know why. I'll show you next time around. But for now, I'm just going to double click that, come up to here, and say colors and types. And let's change that to blue. Blue. And I'll show you. We're going to do this again. I'll show you how to fix that. So check it out. So V out one, the blue one's the EO34. It's about the same bandwidth, but it has a lot more gain, right? So. That's interesting, right? So there's a difference between those. So here, let's let's try something else. Let's cancel out of this, okay? And you know what? For fun, here, I want to show you something, first of all. Double click on that, and here's a sub-circuit of the EO34. I'm going to pull this window down a little bit so we can see a little bit more of it. So see all this stuff? Sub-circuit parameters and look at this um here's the gain capacitance between different things grid and plate so you can read that okay that's the model of that uh eo34 okay and as we saw we had different options so here let's get rid of this window let's click on this guy and here's the model let me pull this window down. This model over here actually look. There's a lot of stuff. Now here's some explanation of what some of these terms mean. And then you scroll down, and you can see the values and the math formulas for each one of these values. Okay, so that's the six L six. And by the way, this is just. It says name, 6L6, just real basic. I want to double click on the CL34. It says EO34. Okay, cool. All right, so let's, let's, let's try something else, guys. Let's try something else. Let's come to minus, and we'll zoom out, okay? And what I want to do is I want to copy this circuit again. Command C, come down here and go Command V. I'm on my Mac, so that's the way I do it. Okay, so now here's a 606. Let's get rid of that guy. Okay, double click, say cut. Okay, let's go up to here and say Command EL34. Whoops, no, I want to go, let's go to Command Find Component. And here's those EO34s. Let's go to this this one here. This Aimu, whatever. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Looks like Japanese, maybe. Let's go try that guy. Okay, we're going to just snap him in. I think I hit, hit twice, and then it shows me that. And then it gives me another guy. I'm going to go up here and hit that. So I'm going to double-click this guy. And this is... EO34 with this other stuff behind it. So a little bit different model, right? A little different one than this guy. So let's go run AC analysis. Now look, this is out two. Okay, just want to point that out. AC analysis. Okay, let's go add another graph. And let's call um, this one number one. 
I don't know why it put that up at the top, but I'm going to go with number two here. So we got out, out one, and out two. Okay, let's go run that one. And there we go. Now check, oh, you know what? Dang, I forgot to show you guys something. So out two is the last one we did. See, out one, okay, that was the original EO34. Okay, so let's do that a light blue. Apply. I'm going to show you something. We're going to do this one more time. Oh, look, it's barely noticeable, right? So let's double click on that. I'm going to show you something. Okay, width. Let's go to a thicker width. So it's more. Yeah, there you go. Now we can see it better. Okay, there we go. So this is the first one, original one, this red one. This is the next one. And now look, this other EO34, it actually has more gain on the low end and does this. So those different models show you different performances, right? So you really have to get your model correct to get the performance of the tube that you have. So um, just for fun, let's... Let's copy another one, okay? And we'll put it down here. Okay. Move it up here. And this is a 6L6 again. We're going to delete that guy. Cut. And what we're going to do is go to Find Component. And these are all the 6L6s. So we could look at all of them and then compare look look at the models to see what looks right or what doesn't but this time i want to do 6l6 all right look at all the 6l6s there's a ton of them but you know what i noticed this guy here in the middle here's a high performance audio one actually but look at this one and you notice when we click on it you see this it has um Look at this one two three four grids and when i click on this guy it only shows me three but our schematic over here it has a connection for one here two three four so we've got at least four so this one's interesting that it only shows now it's a 6l6t maybe that's the problem so let's go up to this one here and it shows the same symbol, same connection. So let's use that one. And it's also the same, uh, you know, model as it looked like on the EO34, that last one we used, right? Okay, now let's go up to here to out analysis, go to AC. And now we're going to have an extra one, right? So we're going to add. So I just dragged it and moved it down here at the bottom instead of having to rename them all. I'm going to call this guy three. And this is the third one. So we have this, the first one we had, the two EO34s, and now we got another 6L6. Whoops. I actually typed, I accidentally typed where the, uh, the thing there so now okay so now we have out three. Oh, so what i want to show you is see over here on the left red red that's why it comes out that way so at this point we have the option you know we can go ahead and select you know what i'm going to just select this dark blue or black is that good looks close to that dark blue let me get something else you know what? Let's use a green. Okay. That'll be different. Okay. Let's do that one. Okay. Let's run it. Okay. Now, you know what? That green is kind of, I'm going to go to a heavier line. Let's go to three. Apply. Okay. So there we go. <clears throat> Boy, that didn't really look like it made it much thicker, did it? Oh, what the heck happened there? Three? It said apply, right? Okay. Oh, I don't know what I did, but there it goes. So now it's solid. So the first one and this last one, it's a red and green. They're both 6L6s, just different models. But look, they look 
But look, they almost look exactly the same, right? And then the first EL34 I tried looks like them, but higher amplitude. The other EL34 looked different. So I just want to show you how there's different models. You can go play with the values of the models as well. You can change them around, but you can play with the different models and, and see what they do. And then you can adjust those models as well. So you can adjust the parameters. Okay, just want to show you that. All right, so what do you think? Uh, useful? You know, sometimes I show the same ways of doing something. Sometimes I show different ways of doing the same thing. So you can see that there's other ways of getting to the same point. I mean, the tool is very powerful. Microcast's been around for a long time. You can, there's different ways to do it. Um, changing the color on the screen itself, going into that window where you run the analysis and changing it all there. Yeah, there's different ways. So yeah, play around, have fun. It's a free tool. Download it for free. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you think down below. Um, if you want to see some other tubes, if you know something about these models that we just looked at, you know where they come from, let us know, okay? Uh, and, and I want to give two big thumbs up to my patrons and my YouTube members. And Danny, thanks so much. I think Danny hit that super thank you button down, too. That was awesome. Thanks, Danny. Um, you guys can hit that super thank you button. Buy me a cup of coffee, maybe a beer for a rant. Might have one of those coming up. Let me know. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And I have this video, and then I have some amplifiers I want to start doing. And I've got something really special coming, hopefully in the mail soon, which is going to be really cool. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.